Okay, Tim, let's uh, return to the Daily Telegraph and these uh, latest violent uh, crime figures being released with the, the knife crime figures being singled out as well under the current climate. What's the Telegraph having to say about it? Well, everybody seems to make what they want to of these crime statistics. The government says that overall crime is, is falling. The Telegraph says, however, that one person is the victim of a knife crime every four minutes in this country. There were 130,000 offences last year, or 356 a day. And one just keeps thinking of, of uh, you know, how many of these phrases that the government came, comes out with, boom and bust is one, and crime, tough on the causes of crime is another. And although they're saying that uh, knife crime and crime generally is coming down, it just doesn't make much sense, particularly tonight, as you've just reported, the, the stabbing in southwest London. Yeah, we're just getting a report through, Tim, just as you, just as you speak, that we are um, now being told that that teenager who's been killed in the South Lambeth area of London near Stockwell um, was 18 years old. We did think he was in his late teens. It's just been confirmed that he was 18 years old. He was stabbed in the abdomen several times um, as police found him at the scene. He was taken to hospital and died about quarter past eight in hospital, but Tim just being told he was... 18 years old and I guess it just emphasizes what a, a problem this is becoming uh, and Ned not only in what is actually happening but also the, the perception of what is happening and the fear of this knife crime as well. Yeah, And it's significant that these crime figures are the first to include a separate category for knife crime because one of the things that uh, basically all political parties now agree on is that this is uh, an unavoidable issue at the very top of people's concerns. Mm. And uh, you could see it's been slowly building in the past year, particularly in London, with this spate of very ugly knife crimes against very young people. Uh, and for a while it was dismissed as a one-off, uh, limited to one or two neighborhoods. It's clear it's part of a, of a cultural problem that runs very deep. And it's clear that despite what politicians, whether Gordon Brown or David Cameron, say, that any workable response is going to be very long term, and it is going to be tough on crime, tough on the causes of crime, basically. Okay, there's a, a serious issue. Let's move away from that. Lighten the mood slightly, gentlemen. Um, why do you need your bottom?